What is going on guys? Victor here, back with another video. Now, I got a very interesting catch and cook that actually wouldn't be possible without you guys because I remember a long time ago I got a comment talking about these fish, these glass nose, otherwise known as moi in the Pacific. I'll touch up more on that in the second half of the video when I go to cleaning these guys. But um, so enjoy the fishing part of this video, which is gonna be happening now. Give me this rod. Thing was yet. Ooh, ooh, was ooh, it really? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I think it's pumps. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see it. So it was going like this? Yeah. Jeez, what's this thing in there? Africa? <laughs> Dude, oh, that rod God. cast far. Oh, blue runner. Hey, I'll swim it. Go do it. Swim it. You have a rod. You have your rod rigged, right? Yeah. All right. I'll unhook them. Chris actually bought a, brought a uh, rod to swim out for a shark. So, got a nice little shark bait. Let's swim it out. Dude, this blue runner is ready to go. Chris isn't. Okay. Thank you. Set that back out. Chris, there's that front rolling through. See how the sky's changing, guys? There's the cold front rolling through. Cool. I, when I threw it out, all I heard was, he's shark fishing. Did they? Oh, yeah. Oh, it just dead went to a dead stop. I think I got it. He went straight east. Did he? Yeah. Good. You should get picked up. What are you talking about? Yes! Oh, you're on now. Tippy on. He beelined it to the beach. That's what he did? Yeah, he came straight in. It was like a hammerhead. It went totally slack. I'm really? Like, what just happened? Here, I'm going to just reel these lines in. I believe it's a black tip. On the swim out. Got loose in the last moment. It was snagged in the tail, and I guess when it, it got in the surf right there, it just completely straightened the hook with one. That was insane. <laughs> wow. Come, just snagged, snagged in the tail. Look at that. Unreal. Holy. There we go. There's my whiting. There was my whiting, and it ripped off. Oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. goes last nose dude that's a good that's a good size one too someone someone actually commented in one of the videos that you and I were both in they're from Hawaii and they said these are a delicacy over there so we're gonna try it well guys, today has been a very, very bad day for me. Uh, a lot of mishaps. Chris and I have tried fishing all over. We went offshore yesterday and it absolutely sucked. We were in a smaller boat, it was rough. And I've just had a rough week of just a lot of fishing trips that did not go as planned, but gotta keep pushing through it. And uh, we came up here to try to get on some pompano. There's been a lot of pompano in the area, but all we've caught so far are glass nose and subscriber actually commented before and said that they've eaten them and that they're very good delicacy so why not try it and there are pompano fishermen up that way there are pompano fishermen up that way and nobody's rods doubling over i don't see anybody hooking up at all there we go as i was reeling in that is so bizarre sometimes you let it sit there for that long and then you start to reel in and then all of a sudden they start to actually eat i don't get it what is it a whiting or a glass nose Another one of these glass nose things. Glass nose number two. These things are so bizarre looking. You got whiskers, and uh, this is both on that fish bites. And these things, seriously, you got, if anyone, longtime subscribers, knows, these things have a glass shaped, glass texture like nose right there. Very clear. Funny looking. I guess there's a school of glass nose out there. As you guys see, the fishing has been very hit or miss for me. I have been going non-stop wade fishing, trying to get on the pompano, just doing all sorts of stuff, offshore trips. 
and nothing has really seemed to pan out. It's a funny time of year, cold fronts coming through, and I know I'm making excuses, but it's it's the truth and it's part of fishing sometimes, but I really wanted to take this opportunity to cook up these two bad boys because in the Pacific, these are called moi. Uh, they're called Pacific Threadfin, correct me if I'm wrong, and in Hawaii, and then on the Atlantic where we're at, these are called Atlantic Threadfin. Now these are very funny looking fish. They got whiskers uh, towards the front of them. They have this really just like glass shaped nose, this just orb protruding out of their face. But legend has it, rumor has it, I did a little background research, the, the Pacific version of this fish, which has stripes, they're a delicacy, like a, a really good delicacy that used to only, kings were only allowed to eat it, royalty, and I'm pretty sure men were only allowed to eat it, and you could actually have gotten imprisoned for eating this fish. So let's go ahead, fillet this guy up, and then get in the kitchen. You guys know what time it is. It's voiceover time. Time to fillet these little glass nose up. Now, I only got two. I wish I had more, but I am glad I actually took the challenge and cleaned these things up. And I think that is one of the coolest things about YouTube and the community and you guys is the fact that, you know, I really do try to read every single comment. And if it wasn't for the individual who did comment and tell me to try these, uh, fish that are a delicacy in his country, well guess what? I probably would have never done so. But that is the nice thing about the community aspect. And these guys, one, two, three, breeze, flay them up, and they have these really beautiful white firm fillets. You guys always hear me throw those two terms around, and that is generally indicative of a very good tasting fish. They had a little bit of eggs in them as well, which was kind of funny because they are so small, but I guess they're big for their species. Go ahead and skin these guys up. I did not eat them with the skin on just because I didn't have I don't know why I, I should have eaten them with the skin on because they looked like they had some really good skin that you could get to a nice crisp next time I will definitely leave the skin on so we are in the kitchen now uh, This is gonna be very fast voiceover easy recipe I don't do a lot of steamed or baked fish recipes, but I wanted to do kind of a lighter thing for lunch. It was just myself eating. I have some cilantro going in the bowl, some scallion, some tomato, you know, kind of a just fresh, lighter spring summer dish and just cutting all this up. And then the juice of half of one lime going into my veggies as well. And it's kind of like, you know, just a little garnish slash salsa gonna go in with my fish get some veggies in there. And uh, I did say I'm gonna try to steam these, so I put them on tin foil. You guys know me, I love garlic. Gotta get the garlic powder on my fillets, as well as some pink Himalayan salt, and as well as some black pepper. You know, fish, It's fish are easily over seasoned, so just go with the basics. That's what I went with right here. Three of my favorite seasonings. And finally, when I cook fish for myself, I love heat. I love spicy food, so I went and did the crushed red pepper. Um, it gives it a nice, just different layer to the whole dish. And like I said, I'm trying to do a healthier dish, so I just did a little bit of olive oil drizzle on there. No butter. This is a gluten-free dish for all you celiac people out there, as well as a lactose-free dish. Um, so yeah, how good does that look? I mean, it just looks appetizing just looking at it right there. Now we got our little aluminum foil boat going in and you just fold this guy up and the whole thing behind this is, you know, you want to really seal in those flavors and just marry the tomato and cilantro and olive oil, crushed red pepper, everything together. And that is what I did, you know? And, uh, you know, I, I wrapped it up and then I get it into my glass bowl, stick it in the oven. And that's all there is to it. You know, it's it, another thing is it's just a clean, easy way to make fish. And just look at that. It's just steaming up everything. Everything has a chance to just develop together, you know? you And, and all that moisture is locked in. You don't lose any of that juice. And you get it on your plate right there. And it's just, it was seriously so good. I um, definitely like preparing fish this way. And I highly recommend recommend it to anyone and check it out there. I mean, it's just appetizing, healthy, uh, fragrant, full of flavor, just overall good. And it doesn't dry your fish out either. You know, you can leave it in the oven a little bit longer. You know, if you guys might be afraid of overcooking your fish, easy way to not overcook it. All right guys, so here goes the first ever Moy Atlantic 
thread fin taste test, otherwise known as that glass nose. I'm very excited to try it. I still feel very weird just filming myself eating, but number one, texture on point. Flavor, very, very mild. Not fishy whatsoever, not slimy whatsoever, very firm, easy to work with fillets, and this recipe is killer and actually really healthy too. I only used about a tablespoon of olive oil in this whole dish. It's really, really good, guys. But the fish steamed itself in that uh, aluminum foil. I baked it at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. The tomatoes and scallions and cilantro just released all this aroma and juice and everything's just, just swimming in just perfection together. It is really, really good. And you guys see, I do a lot of frying fish. I do a lot of stuff on the pan and it can get unhealthy at times. So this is definitely a nice alternative. If you guys are counting your calories, trying to get into those beach pods and really trying to take advantage of the, uh, you know, healthy nature of fish because they are so low in calories, very high in protein, low in fat, very, very good. Try this recipe. Take some fresh bread, which my grandma actually bakes at home. Very nice to have a grandma who knows how to bake. And then you go ahead and you just dip up all your juice. Don't let it go to waste. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.